How are you? I am Dr. Fernando Lemos, a coloproctologist from Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil, specializing in diseases of the intestines, rectum, and anus. In this video, I am here to answer a question that is increasingly being asked on social media, as well as in doctor's offices and in every specialty. Patients and even healthcare professionals are being questioned or are questioning about a certain topic. What is the validity or what is the significance and importance of drinking water in the morning on an empty stomach? To initiate, I am going to state that it is of utmost importance. It is truly and undeniably significant. However, I request that all individuals watch this video until the conclusion, as the optimal quantity of water required to obtain these advantages will be elucidated solely at the conclusion of this video. As the first thing, please think with me. While you sleep, it is crucial to understand that your body keeps on going without interruption. Clearly, all essential functions are at a significantly low level. Solely the primary organs maintain operation at the minimum level, merely to sustain your life and enable the restoration of all the energy you expended throughout the day. That's why a good night's sleep is so important. I already encourage people who have difficulty sleeping to seek a doctor to organize their sleep. You gotta get some sleep. I always say that sleep is like being in a coma. The induced coma in the hospital, which many patients or family members get nervous and worried about, the induced coma is to keep the patient at the minimum threshold of their vital functions to avoid death, but at the same time to facilitate recovery and restoration. While you sleep, you lose liquid. You lose liquid through gastric juice. Your stomach keeps producing hydrochloric acid, pepsin, intrinsic factor. Everything is produced in the early morning, at night when you sleep. Pancreatic juice from pancreas keeps being produced. Bile salts, mainly from liver, bile, keep being produced. All of this is liquid that is being produced and being released into your digestive tract. Your kidneys continue to produce urine and release it towards the bladder. You, through the process of breathing, lose liquid from your body. While you sweat and perspire at night, even in small amounts, you lose fluids. Snores multiply by three what they lose in liquid through breathing. You also lose liquid through tears through the lacrimal duct. When, Dr. Fernando, I'm asleep, not wide awake. You must understand, sleep has two phases. REM sleep, which is shallow sleep and deep sleep. All night long, it's between light sleep, deep sleep, shallow deep. That REM sleep, the shallow sleep, REM is an acronym in English, stands for rapid eye movement, quick eye movement. If you see someone who is just falling asleep, they may be sleeping and their eye moves like that. And all night, shallow sleep, it occurs. And in this eye movement, tear duct is stimulated. And you generate tears and you expel liquid through it. And that is the reason, observe how fascinating what I am about to state now, that every single individual, including myself and you, when we awaken, we are consistently somewhat dehydrated because of this nocturnal fluid loss while we are asleep. Interesting, right? And why is it important to drink water in the morning on an empty stomach? I have divided the content into six main topics for you all. Although there is more to discuss, I have selected six key ones that are important to keep in mind. First topic, cell renewal. You know that you're made up of cells, right? There are trillions of cells in your body, right? So when you wake up slightly dehydrated, your cells are shriveled up. And the cell withers. It is not working properly. The cell always needs to be a little more soaked in order to function correctly. I could use it like this so you can grasp that homeostasis, the hydroelectrolytic balance, has not channels, K channels, CA pump channels, MG channels, MN channels. Everything happens through cell homeostasis. And for you to be able to maintain homeostasis, 
Your body is working everything normally. Your cellular functioning, it has to be correct. So you have to initiate your morning by saturating your cells with water to ensure proper hydration. And when you do that, immediately upon waking up, you enhance the regeneration of blood and muscle cells. And you have the ability to, with that, get rid of harmful substances through your cells by consuming water in the morning on an empty stomach. Secondly, it activates the lymphatic system. What is the purpose of the lymphatic system? It has lymph nodes, glands, and lymph fluid. They are the individuals who safeguard us. They are primarily activated during periods of infections. So if you drink water in the morning on an empty stomach, your body is already preparing itself against infections that will try to attack you during the day. To the extent that people with infectious conditions like arthritis, tonsillitis, sinusitis, bronchitis, bronchopneumonia, or any infection, a UTI. I always suggest drinking water in the morning on an empty stomach to activate the lymphatic system, the defense system against infections. Don't forget lymph is liquid too. Remember lymphatic drainage they're talking about, where they do massages for swollen folks with fluid retention. Remember lymph flows in third space. What does third space mean? Fluid in blood, bloodstream. One is inside the cell. The third space is where the lymphatic system is located. Some people don't hydrate, so this system retains fluid outside cells and blood vessels. Water in the morning on an empty stomach, activating the lymphatic system, prevents infection and helps regulate your fluid retention. Third benefit, intestinal stimulation. As a coloproctologist, as an expert in this field, my patients, many of them, are constipated with their bowels locked up. No therapy for constipation of the obstructed intestine is finished without instruction to consume an ample amount of water. And drinking water in the morning on an empty stomach stimulates the gastrocolic reflex, which means your stomach will notify your intestines that something has arrived there and that there increases peristalsis and improves people who have intestinal constipation. Another interesting thing, drinking water in the morning on an empty stomach activates the villi of the small intestine. What is what absorbs nutrients? You already obtain your skinny small intestine prepared to absorb nutrients that are advantageous for your body. So, activation, cleaning, increasing the peristalsis of your intestine. Room. Boosts metabolism. Drinking water in the morning on an empty stomach increases your metabolism by 25% in the early hours of the morning. And that boosts calorie burning. And that assists with the process of weight loss. You, who are overweight, you, who are already in the obesity range, above the overweight level, you have to start following this guidance of drinking water in the morning on an empty stomach. Fifthly, it functions as fuel for the brain and the central nervous system. Consuming water in the morning on an empty stomach helps to hydrate the brain cells, enabling them to receive a higher supply of oxygenated blood. This, in turn, enhances concentration, cognitive function, and focus during the early hours of the day as a result of drinking water in the morning on an empty stomach. And the sixth item is to assist in the treatment of dyspepsia, which is related to the treatment for those who have heartburn, those who have reflux, those who have gastritis, those who have ulcers. I'm talking about pure water. I'm gonna make a video about drinking water in the morning on an empty stomach with lemon. Many videos talk, patients tell me, even some videos of doctors discuss water intake in the AM on an empty stomach. I'm against using water in the morning on an empty stomach with lemon. I'm referring to pure water. I don't want to get into that subject now, but I want to make it clear that I never sit on the fence when it comes to the topic of healthcare. Lemon water. Dr. Fernando Lemos advises against morning and empty stomach use. There are a lot of people who are already reaping the negative consequences because of this daily habit. If it's occasional, no problem, but I don't recommend water. 
Hear water and the AM helps. I explained that your stomach's gastric juice, it continues to be produced at night. So in the morning, by drinking water on an empty stomach, you can get rid of that acidic part in your stomach. You expel liquid through the pylorus, a valve at the stomach's exit, and release acidic gastric juice, hydrochloric acid, pepsin, and intrinsic factor into the small intestine. And the shorter the acid in the stomach, the less gastritis, ulcer, erosion, esophagitis, reflux, and heartburn will be. I mentioned these six items. Whoever wants to review the video and pay close attention, I recommend. Okay, now I'm at the part that may catch your attention, disappoint some, surprise others. What is the recommended quantity of water to consume in the morning on an empty stomach? As per the National Institute of Hydration of Japan and the National Institute of Hydration of the European Union, they are in agreement. They state the same number, and I am in accordance with their perspective on this matter. No person's fault? 600 to 640 milliliters in AM on empty stomach. So, you must consume a minimum of three glasses of water in the morning on an empty stomach. I know people will be let down, but Dr. Fernando, I can't take any. Many say, Doc, I have water on an empty stomach. And I think they're doing a lot. In order for you to have all these benefits that I mentioned and other benefits from fasting mother's water, you have to be able to reach 600 milliliters. You don't have to chug the whole 600 milliliters. You can drink 600 milliliters within 45 minutes. One detail, and maybe something not so pleasant for many. After finishing your 600 milliliters of water, it's best to wait at least 30 minutes before having breakfast. And there are people who wake up and already have coffee to be able to leave, right? You might have to try to adapt to drinking your water and maybe try to have your breakfast at work when that's possible. But I'll give you a tip from the expert. Start like this, with a 200 milliliters glass for two weeks, 14 days. At 14 days, add a glass. When two more weeks pass, proceed to the three cups. For those who struggle to drink water, attempt it for three weeks. Three weeks with a glass of water. When it's been three weeks, it increases to one. After three more weeks, increase one. No point having small glass of water on empty stomach in AM for mentioned benefits. It has to be between 600 and 640 milliliters, okay? I thank you all once again for being here at Intestine Planet. I thank all these people worldwide who are following us here. If you haven't subscribed, click here to subscribe. Free, no payment. No sales on our YouTube channel at Planet Intestine. No charges at all. There's a bell here. Ring it to be the first for notifications on new videos. If you want to give us a like, and okay, a thumbs up, it helps our channel. Until the next video.